Well, Coach, when you look at your schedule very clearly, the NFL believing in the Denver Broncos, I, you're, you're playing on Twitter, uh, you're opening the season against the team you beat in the Super Bowl, uh, I mean, all sorts of primetime games. What is it like to be the champ? Well, uh, we're very busy right now. That's, that's the biggest thing, you know, getting ready for the draft. But obviously, schedule coming out today is an exciting day, you know, for the organization, for the football team. Uh, we knew we were going to open on Thursday night. And then, uh, obviously, we're open with the team that won 17 football games last year. So that's a, a big challenge for us, but one that we'll look forward to. Uh, you know, looking throughout the course of the schedule, a lot of big games. Got some Monday nights, you know. Uh, got a couple of Thursday breaks in there because the way our season falls. I understand we play on Christmas Day uh, or Christmas night. So, uh, you know, hey, it's the NFL. 16 tough games. Got to get ready for them all, but uh, none bigger than the first one we play. The first one is a massive one at that, though. And, and when we look at that game, when you talk about the preparation that goes into a game where you just played the team, and actually th they look like they're going to be pretty similar this time around, how much can you gain from that? How much do you expect them to be bringing even more because they want to take down the team that just beat them? Well, I, I mean, absolutely. I mean, they're a great football team. I mean, we know that, and, and they will be again this year. But I think the biggest challenge is you go into camp knowing that you're opening on a Thursday. The, you know, it cuts down your preparation time a little bit from the last preseason game to opening night. So there's some things you have to do as coaches and as a staff and a team to make sure you're at your best on that opening night. So we got our challenges ahead of us, and none bigger than the fact that, that we're playing a great team. It's pretty intriguing, too, when you look at the, the Houston game. Just from This is a place that uh, you spent a long time there. Now Brock Osweiler uh, there as well. He'll be coming into your stadium. What do you think that will be like for you and also for Brock? Well, I think that's, what, mid-October, something like that. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, obviously, they're a really good football team and have, uh, you know, went out and made themselves better this off season. So that will be another big challenge. But, uh, you know, I think any time you come off the season that we had, you know you're going to come back and play on a lot of different days, Thursdays, Sundays, you know, Monday nights, those type of things. So, you know, that that's a challenge in itself. But, uh, you know, th this league is so good. Everybody's so good. And you just try to stay focused on yourself this time of year and make sure you're, you know, getting everything you can out of you guys. And finally, Coach, any new quarterbacks we need to know about coming uh, in the building on Monday as well? Not that I know of. I uh, just uh, left the draft room, so we're, we're working in there, doing the, everything we can. But we're excited about Mark and Trevor and, and getting them going Monday and catching up. Great. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate you it. Thank you.